this is something a little bit different. You can see my guest here. This is Jimmy. He is the producer for Primetime 99, Alex Stein, Pimp on a Blimp, mm -hmm. as he likes to call himself. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And, and as the last week, as people who watch our little show will know, I've not actually been around because I've been very, very unwell. Um, we've had to have people stand in for me. I've been in bed. And a few nights ago, I was in bed. I was unable to sleep. And prime time with Alex Stein started to stream. And I saw mm -hmm. our good friend, those who watch the show, Dumb Luca or Dom Lucre was going to be on the show. And it piqued my interest. It really did. I have Jimmy. I have an extreme problem with this man, first and foremost. Okay. Um, and, and the interview started okay and then jimmy here became my hero of the week <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I i was i was feeling like death i felt like i was on death's door and a smile just erupted across my face because you called him out in the best way I, hey, hey alex alex I why gotta jimmy this, what well, you're high on I, cbd what? well no i have a theory on why um dom why might have been demonetized <laughs> And I would just like to hear his response. What is is it possible because some of your most viral tweets were things that were very, very incorrect? What are you talking about, Jimmy? Well, I mean, well, uh, let me bring up just like the one. I remember when you, you tweeted this video, it got deleted and you said that they were being trafficked for adrenochrome. That's a bait and switch tweet. Well, but it was but it turns out it was a video from Syria from 2015 and it was an aid worker. So, I mean, that's just one example. I'm not trying that's to pick on you, but I just... That's one, one example, Jimmy. Yeah, that's one example. And, and I'd just like to, to talk to you a little bit about that and why you decided you had to step in and do that. And I thank you for it, by the way. Mm -hmm. oh, you're welcome. I didn't even know I was being a hero. I thought I was just asking pretty basic questions. And I'll start this by saying, I know this led to Dom Lucre yelling at me and shaming me for my Twitter followers. I've been up. Since 6 a.m., I've been thrown up twice. Do you really think he can hurt my feelings? Well, yeah. Like, come on, look, look what it, I have to bring a baby to an interview. And baby Tiff, her name's Tiffany. She's Hello? so cute and she's so sweet. But, like, no one else can hurt my feelings more than she can. And I love her, but that's the reality of the situation, Dom. So, joke's on you. Um, but I'll start off by saying, yeah, so Alex typically gives me one producer question. Yeah. And, and for this... We were, he was going on and on about, I have no idea why I'm demonetized. I have no idea why I'm demonetized. I'm like, it's pretty obvious. obvious. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I have to give some credit to our new sponsor, Shellshock CBD, because we took a bunch of Delta nines before the show that made me a little <laughs> bit more courageous than I normally am. Uh, Rewatching that interview, I am spaced out pretty badly. Oh, but yeah. I think that's why I, I didn't back down because it was, I didn't even register that he was mad. But I just thought, I said, hey, I have an idea why you might be demonetized. <laughs> it might be a pattern of going viral for wildly false tweets. And and he was, uh, and, and I'll start, I don't know, a, I didn't know a ton about him other than just his tweets. Yeah. I guess he's literally never been called out in an interview about it because he seemed absolutely shocked that anyone. You are the him. first, as far as I can tell. You are really? the first, okay. and, well, and there needs to be more. But you know, I've got ten thousand Twitter followers. You've now got six thousand Twitter followers, so you're allowed to speak okay. to. I'll let you speak to me. It's fine. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm close enough. <laughs> yeah, but um. Someone like me trying to tweet at someone like him. He's got so many followers, many of which I actually am pretty convinced are bots anyway. But mm -hmm. he's got so many followers that people like us really don't show up in his feed to him. So he's not going to see our tweets. He's not going to see our criticisms and things like that. And you're mm -hmm. absolutely right. There's nothing wrong with being skeptical about anything. Okay, We are wildly skeptical. Mm -hmm. skeptical. We basically do what you guys do over here we we like to make people laugh and take apart the news and question things and that's what we mm -hmm. like to do but what he does and the things he says about people is not only wildly inaccurate it can be extremely defamatory and yeah also could if people believe some of the stuff he says get somebody hurt in the real world it's really 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 bad stuff and then like your friend mersh came in and said 
The other stuff he does is he just steals somebody else's content and sticks at Dom underscore Lucre on it and, and passes it off as his own. It's come on. No, I'm mad that Dom calls himself a creator. What do you create, Dom? 50% of your what? content's wildly libelous statements, and the other 50% is just shit you stole from other people in water. Well, I'm a creator. I create waves. You I steal is what you do. And yeah. Well, can I can I give the background on, on Mersh appearing? Yeah, of course. There's a lot of controversy. But basically, I knew they had been beefing online. And yeah. I knew he was, you know, he's I knew he like would be filming around that time. So I just said, let's just freaking call him during the show. And it ended up being content magic. It was. Unfortunately, it got my host in a lot of trouble. But sometimes I just go rogue. And I was like, I know this will go viral. And, you know, ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Yeah. So that's kind of what happened there. And Alex had to kind of explain that to Dom. I think they're good now. Unfortunately, Dom Lucre will hate me for the rest of his life and maybe into the afterlife. I but, don't think that's a bad thing. You know, sometimes you make a few enemies in this content game, but it made for amazing TV. And I wasn't even trying to do that because we've had on controversial figures before yeah. we've had on Laura Loomer and I asked her if she really thought Ron DeSantis's wife was faking breast cancer for clout and I'll get which I think is absolutely insane yeah but the one thing I will say nice about Laura Loomer is she didn't back down she didn't freak out and be like well you think I'm a liar blah blah she's she very calmly stated this is why I think this yeah blah 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 and I said okay I disagree. I think it's insane, but you stated your position. That's your right as a journalist. It's your right in the interview. We'll leave it from there. I mean, does, so, does Dom Lucre, or, or his real name is Dominic McGee, by the way, but does, <laughs> does Dominic McGee believe he's actually a journalist? Did you watch his Tunnels doc documentary? <laughs> well, what, what great timing. Just a few hours after we went viral, he got exposed for this insanely damn documentary. Yeah. I mean... I think the weird part is when he got exposed, he just doubled down. He did. And uh, I mean, like, I've spoken to Manny a little bit behind the scenes. Um, I asked if he wanted to come and chat to me. And, but I said to him, I completely understand if you don't, because look what they did to you. Um, mm -hmm. And for context, in the Tunnels documentary, Dom is looking at a screen and it looks like he's interviewing a survivor of child sexual abuse. And he's not. They, 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 that, that interview didn't happen. It wasn't set up in that way. Manny, who was in that video, had never seen or spoken to Dom. He'd, he'd done it with, I think, Lauren? Lauren Witzke? Yeah, Lauren Witzke. Yeah, who uh, it seems to be quite questionable in herself, but <laughs> that's another story. Yeah, that's what Mersh kept talking about, how she used to do math. I didn't even know she existed until that interview, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll say alleged because I'm not sure. Well, yeah, yeah. But, but that also makes me laugh from that scene is we know Dom had to stand in front of a green screen and pretend like he's looking at someone. And then they put the interview in after the fact. <laughs> and then you've got the camera like, zooming in on his face and he's just there. going. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, why, but why is he, why is he doubling down? Like he got caught out. He got caught. He should just either ignore it or just say, Hey, my bad. You, and, and move on but no he's like no this is false like blah 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 <laughs> like dude relax it, it, it is absolutely um insane but do you know what it needs to happen because this guy has influence okay he has a lot mm -hmm. of influence and people do hang off his every word and like i said at the beginning of this chat we're very skeptical you've it's Correct and fine to be skeptical. But when you start putting out tweet threads saying Jim Carrey's doing this and that with children and you provide absolutely no evidence whatsoever, um, and mm. then you get a whole bunch of people hanging on underneath going, oh my God, I did not know that. Oh my God, this person's evil. That's a problem, I think. I think that's a problem. Yeah. Um, and, and it takes people like you who, who are able to get into that position to sort of hopefully not just call him out but bring the people who are hanging on to his word a bit back down to earth because you know you guys are quote unquote a right wing show um and, and i guess that'll be used against you in one way or another because it always is um mm -hmm. 
I, I'm neither right wing or left wing. You've got the Trump flag over here and then you've got the LGBTQ flag over here because I just like mm -hmm. to represent everybody's positions. Yeah. But this sort of behavior from people with such large followings, I think, can lead to real world harms. And that's why I wanted to get you on here, because I think people like you are going to be doing a great service if you're able to keep doing things like that. Well, I didn't realize I could do anything because, like I said, I only had 4,000 Twitter followers. So uh, I was uh, looking back. I didn't even have the right to speak to someone like Dom Lucre. Oh, no, no, let me stop. Followers. Let me As stop you. Of course you had the right to bloody speak to him. <laughs> when I said I've got 10,000 and you've got six, that's a bloody joke. Right. You've got the right to speak to yeah. absolutely anybody you want. And the fact that he came in with that, you know, who the fuck are you? I've got a million followers. How many do you have? Who cares yeah. how many followers you, you've got if what you're saying is absolute wild, libelous, out there, dangerous shit? Yeah, no. And, and for like Ben's audience watching this. So he did a Twitter space after the show because he was so upset. He got really triggered when I brought up that when I asked him why he is baiting community notes into anti-Jewish statements, I was like, it makes you look anti-Semitic. And he freaked he out. He did. And yeah. he said, so Alex Stein controversy and anti-Semitism. So I joined his Twitter space and he says, you don't have the right to speak to me. And then he saw my Twitter followers. He's like, dude, you have 4,000 effing followers, bro. You don't even have the right to speak to someone like me. And oh, I was, he thought he really got me. He thought he really hurt my feelings. I was crying laughing i was like dude that's just it makes him look like such a douchebag well, but, but you've got to like remember that. when when he's only saying that because he's making waves he's, oh, he's thinking waves. i make waves <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny oh dear i mean honestly man I know this has been quite a quick chat, but first and foremost, I want to thank you for coming and jumping on with me. I, I really appreciate it. And I only really got your attention because I joked at you about the Twitter followers thing. I said, I've got yeah, 10,000 exactly. and I've sent you a DM. But it's not funny mm. and people should be able to speak to and call out whoever they like. Um, really mm. love what you do. And I hope we can speak again at some other time about something else. Oh, oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, we'll... Uh... We'll probably keep making controversies because I'll keep going behind Alex's back and calling people on the show or asking questions. You're not they supposed don't like. to say that. Alex might see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, and 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 I'll say it's like I wasn't even trying to start this shit storm that came up. I literally just wanted his explanation. And Look. usually journalists who are confident in their work are comfortable giving an explanation. But the fact that I questioned him at all. He got so angry, so insecure. Yeah. That makes me think deep down he knows what he's doing is wrong. What he knows he's doing is messed up. I, th I think so. And, you know, going going quickly a bit more deep into that Tunnels documentary, do we mm -hmm. even know where he was walking around? He was just walking in some uh, old disused subway tunnel and he comes up to something painted on the wall and goes, this is the, you know, the symbol for... Uh, how do we know you didn't just paint that on the wall five minutes beforehand? You're in some random subway tunnel on the other side of the city. Um, and, and he crowdfunded 10 grand for this thing, right? Mm -hmm. But you know what the controversy is with his jacket, right? What, the fake Gucci jacket? Well, he claims it was $4,000. Ah, $4,000 Gucci it's fake. jacket. Oh, it's fake? It's so fake. So that's a double lie. So. <laughs> yeah. People accuse him of using four thousand or ten thousand dollars to buy a Gucci jacket. His watch, his very expensive watch, jacket. is also a fake. Oh, <laughs> well, because that's another thing he brought up. He said when I comment on his jacket, it's an attack, and I didn't even comment on his jacket. No, it was that merch. was merch. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know commenting on a man's jacket is an attack. Can you can you explain that to me? Because that's just something I don't know about. No, I mean. Uh... Honestly, I don't know. People people can comment on my clothes all they damn well please. I mean, in this interview, they can't see them, so it's fine. But they can comment on my clothes. I, I mean, they should they should comment on my clothes. Look, <laughs> that is that like a a papoose built into a shirt? Yes, it's a little like kangaroo pouch. Yeah. That's amazing. It's, it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> she's she's very active and likes to kick. So. Now, me and my wife makes have got my life a lot easier. Me and my wife have got two. Our son is ten in just under two weeks, and our daughter 
uh, is seven years old and i can tell you now and okay. i i don't want to i don't want to scare you here but girls are far worse <laughs> I, I i've heard they're bad when they're older yeah but she's she's been she's been really sweet and cute and she sleeps the night so Ooh. we're very lucky but um but before we go i don't know how closely watch primetime with alex stein but do you know why she's named tiffany and this is a true story is this after Tri tiffany gomez by any chance yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so for those who don't know the viral plane lady that that mother is not real <laughs> she lives in dallas where the show is yeah and uh when she finally became public i tweeted at her hey if tiffany gomas comes on primetime with alex stein i'll name my unborn daughter after her and your wife, wife allowed wife. this about eight months pregnant yeah so, <laughs> so that's, a, that's another that's a that's a private conversation i'm not have, i'll stay out of it yeah. i'll stay out of it <laughs> she actually responded and said should i go on i said oh my gosh <laughs> I, I, and she actually came on the show so now this is baby tiffany i'm a man of my word wow uh and and the funny part is we're getting olive garden tonight oh. tiffany gomas me and alex stein <laughs> and uh, i hope you're alex using one of your olive garden, olive garden gift cards yes it, it, absolutely <laughs> okay well jimmy thank you so much for joining us here and i've let you get back to uh dad time um and uh, mm. look forward to watching the next episode of prime time and i hope we speak again all right thank you for support everyone go subscribe to prime time with alex stein we're gonna be causing shenanigans every week on the internet uh, it's, it, it is a lot of fun i it makes me laugh <laughs> and, and like i said you know it was the only thing that cheered me up when I've been in bed ill all week. So thank you so much, man. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I could be your hero. Thank you. Intentionally. <laughs> bye bye. All right, have a good one. Bye.